There were eight players in this Australian side tonight who played in the World Cup finals in 2006. And here's Chipperfield. Here's Bresciana, gets onto the loose ball. There's nobody in goal. What an important clearing header. Cooney, the goalkeeper from Kaiser Chiefs, galloping off his line and left the goal deserted behind him. 20 minutes played, still nil-nil. Here's Degashwi, and he's got a good ball out here, and South Africa have taken the lead through Nkosi. Well, that is against the run of play. Shiabunga Nkosi, who plays his football with Bielefeld in Germany, winning his 20th cap has got only the second goal that South Africa have scored since Joel Santana became the coach and we just said that Mark Schwarzer had hardly been troubled and there was nothing he could do about this once no. it was slipped between the defenders no it was a brilliant backfield from Benny McCarthy a fantastic run the uh, chipper field would be disappointed in him following whether it was offside or not I don't know but he's still got to go with that runner but it was a brilliant finish into the corner Neat ball played in by Digawishi to Benny McCarthy and the back heel found on Cozy. And it's Australia nil, South Africa one. First shot goal, first attack anywhere near the goal. And I don't even think Mark Schwarzer picked it out of the net, so he still hasn't touched the ball. McDonald. top of the goalkeeper just what Australia wanted Stojovski as the goalkeeper had a rush of blood and Pim Verbeek will be pleased about that it's uh, Stojovski's seventh international goal he's winning his 35th international cap tonight he beat the offside and as Kearney rushed off his line, he just lifted it over the top of him. Yeah, it was a brilliant finish. At, at this level, when you get opportunities, you've got to take them. And uh, the technique of the volley, with his virtually back to the ball, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute top, top class finish. Here's Modisi. Well... That's another warning to Australia there, Martin. He, he had time to control that and turn and get a shot away that something yeah. just flashed past the angle of post and bar. Just over 30 minutes played, Australia won, South Africa won. Clever little flick, and here's McDonald. Oh, it was a last-ditch saving challenge, but they've got it again, McDonald! Well, he couldn't stop scoring in the SPL last season. The Celtic won the title. He hit that very firmly, but it was right into the chest of the goalkeeper. Wiltshire to Cholina. Here's Grello. Laid back by McDonald. Worked out wide to the goal scorer, Stojowski. Just too high! just needed to brush the forehead of Kennedy six feet four and a half inches tall has scored twice in half a dozen international appearances even Stevens here Australia one South Africa one Bresciano oh, just offside flag went up straight away well, it was a it was a tidy finish but it won't count the flag had gone up on the far side as soon as the pass was made. Yeah, it was another good run. He likes coming inside. He likes getting inside there and getting between centre-halves and full-backs, and he does look a danger. Well, there was a free kick, surely, here. He was caught. Gorella will take it. Um, Bresciano, rather, will take it. Nine is Kennedy, seven is McDonald, 16 is Coyne, who's uh, got hold of somebody's shorts. Oh, the keeper came, he missed.
missed it completely. And it's Kennedy. And Australia, having got a goal down, are going to lead 2-1. And this young goalkeeper, well, he looked reckless there because he came for a ball and didn't get anywhere near it. And Kennedy has scored his third international goal to follow the equaliser by Stojowski. And it's Australia 2, South Africa 1. Yeah, I'm sure Tim Verbeck could be very pleased because it's very difficult to work with set plays. I think they've had five corners now, three free kicks in dangerous positions, and you can't really work anything with only one session. It's a question of pile in there and get your head to it first, and that's what the big fella's done, and, uh, you know, I think he deserved that goal for how he's played so far. He deserved that. Here's Coyne. Nice pass to pick out Bresciano. Oh, that was very close. Shot from distance. Fizzing across the grass. Just wide of the foot of the post. There's Cannell, the left back for South Africa, who looks like he got away with a, a rather nasty challenge a little bit earlier. Chance for a strike, left footed. Well. Carney coming forward from fullback. Would have been a bit special if uh, the Sheffield United player had found the back of the net there. Hit it well enough. Degashri spreads it wide. Shibaya. Well, from our angle anyway, uh, that looked pretty close. I'm not sure whether the replay from a different angle might tell a different tale. Oh, there's a chance here to cut it back for somebody. Oh, it's in, it's an equaliser. a strike by Modisi the number 10 and just for a moment there Australia were caught cold at the back and the cutback was great and Modisi struck that firmly right footed and it's 2-2 Back by Bryce Moon. <laughs> Valeri. Mm, nicely taken on the chest. Oh, Jitte didn't get contact cleanly enough, and it was cleared off the line. And a more solid contact that would have put Australia back in front. And it was Nassif Morrison cleared it. 